Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies Adventure Level 5-9. I think we're nearing the end, finally. I really do. Oh wow, look at all that. That is... that is a mess. Oh, Okay. Okay, what are we going to need? There may be no point in having any walnuts of any kind, so maybe we could make room for that. How much money do we have? We have 3,000. That is that is nowhere near enough to get nine slots. All right, so we're gonna need this. We're gonna need this. This definitely want the melon bolt. Take that, and we have room for two more. Uh, the jalapeno would be helpful. The squash would be helpful. Oh, so many things would be helpful here. Actually, hmm. Ah, uh, trying to think. I could probably get rid of the cabbage pult. I don't know. Would that be worth it? I'm not so sure it would. Let's. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Because I'd like to have this. Yeah, and then I'd also like to have the jalapeno as well as the squash. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this is terrible. We'll have to restart. It's just not working. We'll have to get the cabbage pult in there. So, what do we want to sacrifice? I think we could probably sacrifice the squash. Yeah, I think that would be the best thing to do. Sacrifice the squash. Alright, so let's do that. Um, I mean, I, I gotta use the melon pult. It's new. We just got it. It has to be used. So let's do this, this, this. Um, we'll take the pumpkin. We'll take the jalapeno. And then, uh, what am I forgetting? Oh, right, we need, we need the umbrella leaf. Okay, all right, let's try that. <clears throat> Cutting it close here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Give me some butter. We need butter. We need, uh, yes, yes, yes. We needed butter bad. Oh, good. Okay, all right, what's next? Uh, those guys are all pretty well covered, actually, so... Put one there. I think, I think he's gonna die. I think he's gonna die. He might get a bite in. He didn't. Nice. Wonderful. Okay, I want to get a melon pulp right in the middle here. As soon as I can. I just can't quite do it yet. Oh, we're so close to getting that melon pult. The final wave is approaching, though, too. Is that's uh, that's a, gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, there we go. Do it, yes. So as soon as somebody shows up in the middle, he'll start throwing it, but it will also do damage to all neighboring tiles as well. So we should be doing pretty good. I need that there. Oh, this row is terrible, actually. I just noticed that. This row is not in good shape. Butter him! You're, oh, you need to butter him so much right now. I cannot ex Oh, God, he needs butter. He needs butter. Yes! Oh! 
Whew, okay. We got him. Very nice. Oh, come on, guy. Look at you. Stop him. Yeah, he's done. He's done. There we go. Still a little scary, but he's he's done. I'm tempted to put a melon pulp right here and then get a get a pumpkin around it and call that good. I don't know. That's about as far as... Yeah, yeah, that's as far out as I'm going to want to go. Because when Gargantura Tor or whatever shows up... Uh, even if I do damage to him immediately, he's going to throw that guy to right here. So It's kind of a Master Blaster situation. I do not like whatever this is. I do not like what's going on right here. I think I will have to... I'm going to try to get a pumpkin in right there, just to hold him back. Yeah, there we go. Because I do want a melon pole right there, too. You need to butter that guy. You need to butter him. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage from those melons. Oh, wow. Cool. We are well guarded. And I just need a melon pole right here. There we go. Hey, we have enough... Awesome. Oh wow, we need we need some help over here though. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't have any choice. I'm gonna have to put a pumpkin right there. There we go, there we go. Kill them. <clears throat> Actually the jalapeno Well, no, because Because I'm gonna need that very shortly, I think. Let's do... let's do double butter. Double butter! You can do double butter at the bottom as well. In fact, let's get one right there. That may have been kind of dumb, because I do need a planter for the jalapeno. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, all kinds of hell is headed my way. <laughs> he froze immediately. I'm not seeing Gigantar, Gargantuar, not seeing him. Oh, look at what's happening here. This does not look good. Double butter! Double butter! Come on. One more. One more sun. One more sun. We can get a melon pull down there, too. Yeah. Good stuff. It's going to damage every single person standing there. Or in this case, zombie rather than person. Oh, man. That pumpkin's going down quick, though. I'm not really worried about the ladder guys anymore now that we have melon pulls covering almost every row. Oh, crap. Look at that. Okay. You, you gotta take him out. You gotta take him out now. He has to go down. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's do double butter right there. Double butters. Gotta get the double butters. Butter, get you. He's done. Yeah, he's done for. Good. Alright, I'm ready to put a planter down wherever he shows up. This is the final wave, so he's got to show up now. I should also collect that sun. Oh! Oh, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Okay. Jalapeno, go quick! You don't have time! There is no time! Oh, look who's there. Okay, yeah. He's just good. Yeah, that's... Yeah, good. It'll work. Should work out quite well. 
And he should be taking a ton of damage at this point. So... I can see what needs to happen right here. I'm gonna get rid of that sunflower. Oh, I don't have... The jalapeno still got a long recovery time on it, though. Damn. He just needs to... He just he needs to die. Oh, here we go. Oh. God, really? There. Okay, just... Here, kill him. Quick. We're done. We're all done here. Finish him off. Anytime now. Anytime you're ready. I don't need any more sun. There it is. Mmm. Ah, coffee. And we got a note. What the note does say. Homeowner, you have failed to submit to our nightful cl <clears throat> to our rightful claim. Be advised that unless you comply, we will be forced to take extreme action. Please remit your home and brains to us forthwith. Sincerely, Dr. Edgar Zombos. Oh shit, it's boss time. It's kind of a your bonus round boss fight, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty difficult. Uh-oh, he's here. Better get ready. It's going to be one heck of a fight. Listen, though. I know what his weakness is. You have to hit him in the pancreas. No, that was a different guy. You have to, um... Uh, you, you have to kick him in the, uh, um... Hmm... You have to press up, up, down, down, left, right, uh... Wait, I, I, I remember, it's, um... Oh, they stole Crazy Dave. And, it, he knew the secrets! He knew all the secrets, it's okay, I fought this guy before. He's a total jerk. So, we just randomly get whatever. And uh, he sets down zombies and all kinds of stuff. Eventually, he'll bend over. You'll see his face. And then you're going to want to hit him as much as you can. Uh, the the jalapeno and the ice shroom, you want to save. You're going to want to have to... Yeah, you want to save those. Come on. Come on. There we go. Melon Pult. Sure, why not? I love the music, too. Get over yourself! There we go. Freeze him! And, uh... Jalapeno him. Nice! gonna do some good damage. Freeze him! Nice! I think that neutralized his fireball he was about to drop. Hit him again. Also get rid of that zombie. That went really well, actually. Feel pretty good about that. Take him out. Just keep putting planters down. Make some space, buy some time. No reason not to. They will eat them, but it's not a big deal. Here we go. Freeze him. Hit him. Freeze him again. Hit him! <laughs> okay, now let's see what he does. Okay, he's doing a fireball. There we go. Hit him! Yes! No, oh, you bastard. Hate you! Oh, right, that doesn't do it. I kind of messed up there. There we go. Come on. Very hectic. Let's put that right there. That'll make him waste it. 
Oh, unless he dies, of course. In which case, I have a random planter sitting there. Not a big deal. But, uh, oh no, I have no way to combat you guys. Oh, this is bad. See, this is why you always keep a good... S I don't know why I put that there. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. It doesn't... Oh, there we go, there we go. Kill them all! Hate you. Put this down here. There we go. Do some of that action. Alright. Looking pretty good. Kill him quick. Freeze. Gotta free. Oh, I thought that would actually freeze him. It did no such thing. What are you gonna do? If you do an ice ball, I can fight that. Thank you. Appreciate the ice ball. Oh, just as I get an ice shroom, that figures. Okay, we want to keep the ice shroom and the jalapeno. Learned my lesson. Actually, I learned that lesson a long time ago. I just I wasn't obeying it. All right. Waste that thing. Oh, screw it. I have an extra jalapeno. Just do that. Yeah. I don't think he'll make it very far. No, he didn't. Okay, freeze it. Hit him. Hit him where it counts. Yes, look at all that damage. Freeze him again. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, I'm so lucky I got that jalapeno. That that was awesome. That that's a ton of damage we just piled onto him. Oh, sometimes he does that. Sometimes he does that. That's no fun. Oh, come on. You can take him, no no doubt. No doubt about it, yeah. Okay. Stop that guy. Oh no. I am poorly defended here, Jalapeno. Just oh I didn't even need it. Kill him. Kill them both. Need them dead. Oh, that was close. That was frighteningly close. Alright. Let's do a uh, double butter? I don't know. Also, bobsled zombie. Uh, that's, that's not good. Here, freeze it. Oh, I have no. Here. Here, we'll have to do this then. There we go. Oh, we need jalapeno! <sighs> there we go. Alright, let's get another planter down. Kill him! Gotcha. I think we can get away with using a couple ice shrooms. Just to buy us a little bit of time. Oh, there we go. Freeze it. Kill him! Yeah! <laughs> Freeze him again! Okay, that's about all I can do for now. Oh! Oh, he blew up a little bit! Jalapeno! Yes! Ice Shroom! Go! Yes! Oh! Did we get him? Oh no, he's just really pissed off. Oh no, we got him! Ha ha! Screw you, Dr. Zomboss! That was pretty good. We got it on our first try. We got the special trophy. We got three grand, which actually isn't all that great, considering. Congratulations! You have most triumphantly fended off the zombie attack. Your lawn is safe. For now. Okay, you win. No more eating brains for us. We just want to make music video with you now. Sincerely, the zombies.
we don't like zombies. I used to play football. Well, don't protect my head. I have a screen door shield. We are the undead. I like a tricycle. Dirt powder on my head. I'm gonna eat your brain. We are the island. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Laura Shinagawa, Shigihara. Why do, why do I always say Shinagawa? I don't know. And there we get the credits. All right. So we'll do the credit roll and then I'll say uh I'll say next time on Let's Play Plants vs Zombies, we'll do some uh do we have more mini games? I don't know. I guess we'll have to sit through the credits and then go look at the main menu. Okay, that's what we'll do. Oh, the credits are really short. The credits are really short. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Good. That's I've I've played way worse, way simpler games than this and the credits were like 20 times that long. It's ridiculous. Although it does explain why it took them such a long time to make it. Okay, so can we can we just go to the main menu? Uh, I think it's recycling the credits. Okay, adventure complete. More mini games, puzzle, and survival modes have been unlocked. Also, check out the new items in Crazy Dave's shop. All right, what do we have in the shop? Nothing new. Oh yeah, yep. See, we get the uh, Colonel Pults into Cobb cannons. Yes, that's really good. You can get two Colonel Pults laid down. And uh, have this unlocked for an additional 500 sun after the initial two kernel pulse, that's a total of 700 sun, you get the Cobb Cannon, which allows you to basically fire an explosion anywhere on the screen that you want. It has a uh, recharge timer, but not too bad. The Imitator, that will clone any plant you want it to. Um, you get kind of an ice mod for the Melon Pulse. Winter Melons, apparently it's called. And, uh, yeah, we can buy some plants. Um, any plant you buy in the shop is always going to be a marigold. If you want newer, more interesting plants, you just have to try to get them to drop while playing through the levels. Uh, gold watering can, blah, 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 none of that's new. Oh, yeah, this is for, um, these are two more Zen Gardens. One's for nighttime plants, any kind of fungus, and the other is for water plants. Um, cattails and, and, uh sea shrooms, stuff like that. You can also get the Tree of Wisdom, which gives you hints every time you give, every time you give it fertilizer. And the snail will pick up money for you. Is that it? That's about it for now. Okay. And then we have unlocked survival mode. Day, night, pool, and something. I think it's night time with pool. Um, ooh, pool survival. That'll be fun. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies, we'll do a couple more videos. We'll, uh, we'll check out some more of the mini-games. And we will also... It's, oh, Begooled. Uh, uh, I'm not good at Bejeweled games. Begooled is essentially Bejeweled. The only thing is there is a flaw in the game design that we'll talk about because it's so flawed that it allows even me to be able to play it well. So we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that in the future. We'll do... I think we can probably... I think we'll probably squeeze in two more videos because there's still quite a bit of content in these three here. And I would like to get at least a good bit of the survival done. So, we'll see you for the next video. Luke out!